everyone. In the previous video, we have already learnt about dynamic arrays and we have written algorithm for both add and delete operations. So in this video, we are going to write implementation for dynamic arrays using Java programming language. So I just added algorithm what we have written in previous lecture. One is add and another one is for delete operation. In case of add, when array is filled, we are doing the resize operation. In case of delete, when only one fourth of the array is full, then we are doing the resize operation. So after this if condition, entire code is exactly same. Just we have to change the new capacity here. So here instead of two star capacity, here it became capacity divided by two. So this one I can we can consider it as some different variable which is new capacity. And we are going to write this only this piece of code in one method and we are going to call the same method in both add and delete operation. Now let's see code implementation in Java. So here class name I have given as dynamic array. First we have to declare the variable. So what are the variables we are using? One is array which is our dynamic array. Then one is size and third one is capacity. First we have to initialize these variables right. So we will create one default constructor and another one is we will give one more constructor which can take some initial capacity means so i am sure that my array is going to have some elements like 10 elements so that case i instead of starting capacity with the one we can start directly with the 10 right so this case user can provide using constructor so here i am giving this as the initial capacity i am declaring array as array equal to new in initial capacity and then size will be obviously zero because initially no elements present in the array so capacity will be the one which user has given through this constructor so if we are not sure about the size so default size what we are assuming is as one right so i am just calling this parameter constructor using this so now let's start writing the code for add method so public void add and it will accept element from the user so before adding the element, first we have to check whether array is full or not. So how do we check if size equal to capacity. So in this case what we have to do, we have to grow the size of the array in memory. So for that I am adding one private method which will resize the array. So here I am providing new capacity. So what we are doing during resize operation, first we have, first of all we have to create a new array. So I just create new array with this new capacity. Once I have created array, I have to copy elements from old array, my, our array into the newly created array. So once copying is over, so this newly created, this newly created array is going to be our dynamic array, right? How we will do? We will just change the reference of the array to the newly created array, which is temp. So as capacity has been changed now, so we have to update the capacity variable. Now let's build the add method. What is the current capacity? Just uh, it is para, uh, variable name capacity only. So I have to double the capacity. So two star capacity. So once this is over, I just have to insert the element at the last index, right? Array size equal to element. Once I have inserted new element, means my size also got increased, right? By one. So how I can change it? Plus plus. Now let's write delete method. So here I have given written type as int because I just want to print which element I have deleted from the array. So before deleting what we have to check first of all whether array is empty or not. How do we check size equal to 0 that means that there are no elements present in the array so then throw some exception. If this is not the case means our array has some element first get that element which we are going to delete. So int data equal to array size minus 1 because total size number of elements are there so last element will be at, at uh, index size minus 1 so just decrease size by 1 so after reducing the size we have to check our array has lot of unused space or not how, how we are checking if our array has occupied only one fourth of its capacity then we are going to have lot of unused space means three fourth of the space is not being used that means that we have to string the array to the off right so how we are checking it if size equal to capacity divided by four then we have to reduce the array size in memory how we are doing it capacity divided by two now 
I just return the data. So this is the this is the code which we are, have added for add and delete. Now let's write main method. So I have added one method here which is to print the elements present in the array and after printing every time I am printing what is the size of the array and what is the capacity of the array means how many elements are present in the array and what is the capacity. So in main method I have added total 9 elements. See every time after adding the element I am just printing the array. And after that, I have performed some deletion operations, right? Now let's see how array is growing in size and then reducing in size. Let's run the code. Okay, so first I have added 10. Once I added 10, size has become 1 and S capacity is obviously 1 only. So both size and capacity become equal here, right? Now next element when I am trying to add 20, definitely size capacity has to be double. So 1 to 2 it became. So then after adding third element, still I have enough space in memory, right? So 3 and 4, size is 3 and capacity is 4 means array is not full. So I have added, so in this case there is no change in capacity. Next I added 50. Once I added 50, during, before adding 50, definitely my capacity has to be increased because there is no space present in the array. So 4 to 8 it became. So until adding 80, there is, there is no change in capacity and then add 90. So during this operation, before adding 90, again resize will happen. If you notice it, 1 to 2, 2 to 4, and then 4 to 8, and 8 to 16. It has been changed. After that, I have performed delete operation. So I have deleted 90, right? Lost element will get deleted. Size will be 8, and then capacity 16. In this case, we have not used half of the array, but we are not doing shrinking operation here, right? Only one fourth time only, we are doing the shrinking operation. So next, I have deleted. So size becomes 7 and then capacity becomes 8. So when this shrinking is happening, when my size is 4 means 1 fourth of the array only filled because 16 divided by 4 is 4, right? So only 1 fourth of the array is filled. That particular time shrink is happening. So capacity has become 8. So this way dynamic array grow and shrink in size. So I hope this code is also clear to you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy learning.